Hey, hello. Your sign traffic with Wolf Gorlock, a few minutes riffing and IT and IT security. Today, looking at the importance of regression testing. And, and if you're running an iPhone and you're running the latest iOS 12.4, congratulations. Good news, I guess. Apple shipped with a brand new feature that allows you to once again jailbreak your phone. Awesome. This kind of flies in the face of all we believe about updates, correct? I mean, the, the idea is you apply updates because you want to be secure. The idea is that if your phone is updated to the latest and greatest, you can assume that it's got a high degree of uh, IT hygiene, right? The idea is patch and thou shalt be secure. The problem is, is when these patches reintroduce old, previously closed vulnerabilities. So the tip for you is this. If you are running application software security programs, if you're responsible for AppSec, if you're doing DevOps, please, 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 include in your regression testing security. When you do regression testing, check for those previously closed vulnerabilities to make sure they're not raising their head again. This vulnerability was closed many moons ago, but was definitely closed in 12.3. It came back in 12.4. That is unusual. And it came back, coincidentally enough, in the very same month that Apple announces their big multi-million dollar bug bounty program. Which my gut says they're not going to pay out on this jailbreaking vulnerability. Pwn to owned has already uh, released the jailbreak for it. It's out. It's in the wild, which means pretty soon people are going to weaponize it, which means hopefully pretty soon people are going to to look to Apple and Apple will release 12.5 to close this patch. I wondered how often these problems were occurring, right? These ideas that a security program bug is closed and it reopens, right? Because of lack of regression testing. So I, I reached out and uh, a highly scientific uh, Pew Pew poll, which is to say I asked people on Twitter, finds that it happens somewhere between not that often and all the frickin' time. I don't have good stats yet. I'm looking for them, supposedly they're on a white hat or something else. Uh, I may update this or, or do another one when I find out what those stats are. But we do know that it happens. It doesn't happen frequently, otherwise it won't be news, otherwise we won't talk about it here. But we do know that it happens. And one of the interesting things is, is oftentimes it happens with very critical vulnerabilities. Uh, another insight from Twitter was that's usually the very critical vulnerabilities that are issued out of cycle and therefore the main branch still is vulnerable. So when they're going ahead and creating the new release, they go back to the main branch, they do all their updates, they don't oftentimes or sometimes include the hotfix, right? That critical hotfix that occurred out of cycle. Very interesting, if true. Again, I'm looking for some statistics and I may update this. But whether it is not that often or all the freaking time, somewhere in the middle, I'm sure, the point remains, if you're writing software and if you're doing regression testing, which I really hope you are, uh, for features and functionality, make sure you're doing regression testing for security testing, those well-known, well-established vulnerability conditions to make sure they're not being reintroduced into your code string. That's it. That's all I got. I'm waiting for 12.5 because I did update like immediately. What do you think about this? Uh, either specific to Apple on the same month that they're announcing you know, the multi-million dollar bug bounty or in general in terms of application development. Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.